Today, the Mount Meigs prison is quiet, at least from the outside. Prison officials are not allowing any press in for at least 24 hours. They do say the inmates involved, all 114 of them in the fighting last night, have now been segregated. Blacks in one area, whites in another. But they did uh, paint the lights out. Uh, when they went in to try to bring them out for the count, uh, there were no lights. They refused to come out and immediately started fighting. Uh, I don't know that this would uh, have anything directly to do with the cleanup order, right. except that paint was available. Well, this looks like it was an organized situation. Is, is there that much of an organization, black, white, inside that could start trouble like this? It, it's a constant problem. Now, uh, the indication that this was pre-planned, of course, is there because of the uh, painting of the lights ahead of time. Uh, how much uh, racial planning was involved, I don't know. And I, I don't think we could comment on that until the investigators issue some kind of a report. There's no way to interview prisoners involved in the fighting to get their version of why the trouble started. But Alabama's prison problems, even if they are racial, are not being helped by the overcrowded conditions or lack of prison guards. And solutions for the problem continues to be a finger pointing at the Alabama legislature. They must do something, or else the federal courts will take charge, as they already have in some cases. This is Bob Kennan reporting from Mount Meigs Prison for Channel 10 Newsbeat.